Lewis. These look good to me. And the only thing I can see you having trouble on, as you said, is maybe the skull. Maybe. I can't know for sure because you've got complex forms in here, like this one. And it doesn't look that bad to me. I'm figuring that if you've got a head that has a Z line, that, uh, now remember, that wouldn't necessarily be the Z line, right? We choose what the Z line is. But since the whole bulk of this thing seems to be going back like that, that would be a vector. So if I'm going to put a line like this and say that's going to be my Z line, and then X line, no question what that is. It's going to be some line that goes off in that direction. And then Y line, well, if the paper is in a vertical world, there we've got our three line systems. And what I'm looking to see is that if you were to box this up, let's just box up a portion of this. Let's say this area here is going to get boxed up so that if we commit that that is my X, Y, and Z line. Now, the angle of that box and the angle of this sphere, let's figure out where that sphere would be. If this, we're going to go back, say, that box, another distance back, right about there, and that's going to be the sphere itself. So watch what I'm doing. I'm trying to find this box right in here and go back to about there, and then go back about the same distance again, which would be to there, and I think I'd interrupt that sphere. And I think I'd interrupt it maybe at about the center of it, but it might be a little higher. So I'm going to say that the, the sphere that I'm seeking, and I'm just eyeballing this, is going to be something like that. Now, this center line on there would be a breakdown, a smoothing out of this, wouldn't it? And we'd need to find a uh, north pole on there, and we'd say if we could smooth that out and turn that into an ellipse, it's going to be something like that. Now, I don't know whether I went over this last week, but this ellipse that I just did, I was trying to see through it like that, and I was trying to see through it as if it were a cylinder that was going off in this direction. So that that axle would make a minor axis and that this would make the major axis. That's how I got this line. How would I get the equator line? What would I average out to get that equator line? I could just throw it in there. I know it's going to be something like that. But I'm going to take this line, right? This line and smooth it out. But you say, how do you make it look right, though? Ah, that wasn't that hard because I was thinking of a cylinder that was, the axle was in that position. And I'm figuring if that's the axle and at absolute right angles on the paper, not anything that has to happen in perspective in there, on the paper, right angles, this curve is going to be an ellipse there. And I'm guessing at the openness of the ellipse. I'm guessing that it's about that open. But my goodness, that worked. What about, uh, what about the other now, north to south pole? If this is, if this pole would be facing in the same direction as that, which it's supposed to be, the other one would be facing from that X line. And so I'm going to try to figure out where will that be. I can guess it's somewhere around there. And then I've got one more ellipse to do, right? And we know it's going to go through here and here and then somewhere over on the other side of that world and then down there at the South Pole. So we're going to have to have some kind of ellipse that's going to touch those four points. But I can get it pretty easily. If you've been following this logic, watch this. I can figure, I can swing it in there. And how was I swinging it? Oops, I'm going to correct it. I got it a little better. Ah, that's better. I had it like that and I started to see it's, it's better that way. How did I know? I was trying to see all the way through there and to build on this 
axle with a right angle like that, how this would fit on there knowing that it's more of an open ellipse. And so I freehanded that shape onto there and got pretty close. Any questions about that? So I'm going to review. I'm going to go back over what I just did up there to walk us through it backward in case it was too much at once. But you have any questions? Uh, I will have a question, but not, not at that specific one. OK, let's just go back over it. The point of this was to show that a sphere cannot be mastered unless we have a box that we're relating it to. So we have an equator, north-south pole, and a couple of lines that go through the north-south pole at right angles to each other. So we look down on them, they'd be right, 90 degree angles. And you have enough here to get me started on a box shape. And so if I've got a box shape, and I just want to figure out where that cranium is going to be, which is a more organic shape, and just isn't this a nicer shape? It's just so such a cool shape. But I had to make sure that this thing's cranium wasn't shifted or odd in that box. So finding Z, X, and Y, and then using the axle lines to know how to place the ellipse, and then guessing at the openness of ellipse, but guessing by figuring this one fits in there nicely, was enough. And then we could, of course, draw all the way over to the other side. And that was to say that I was trying to check whether this looked right to me in relationship to this. OK. Lewis, what question? Even if it takes us off to another train uh, of thought. Well, uh, for the 